yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LA BB, who we running with? Yeah, 
scales off. So I'll cut them. One. It's when you know you did. Got it all. What's going on everyone? I really hope you enjoyed catching my personal best, biggest yellowfin tuna out of Venice, Louisiana. Guys. I know you're all probably wondering, how much did the fish weigh? I am so sorry, I've got to apologize, but we did not get to weigh the fish. But Captain Mikey catches yellowfin tuna all the time. He told me that was 80 pounds all day, so I trust his judgment when it comes to lifting and handling tuna. So we don't have the weight of the fish. I'm so sorry. I can tell you it was definitely in the 80 pound range. So now I'm back in Florida actually, and I'm just kind of home chilling today. And I really, really want to eat some of my fresh tuna, which I did get to bring a piece home on the airplane. This recipe is actually from my friend, who makes the two pots Hawaiian pokey sauce. If you haven't ordered this sauce yet, or if you don't know what it is, you've got to check it out. I put his website in the description box below this video so you can click on it, check out his whole website. He's got pokey sauce for sale, he's got recipes, all kinds of good stuff over there. So be sure to check it out if you want an easy, delicious, healthy sauce that really makes a difference. Lewis and I use it for not just fish, we put it on our chicken, we put it on our deer meat, we put it on turkey. It's amazing, it's so good. So I've got a ceviche recipe for you today. And I've never made this recipe before, but it's so easy. I'm not even nervous right now. It's quick, simple, and healthy. I'm so excited. Also, everything is in the description box. Take a screenshot and take that with you to the grocery store, bring it to the kitchen, or you can follow along with me on my video. One note about chopping is, in my ceviches, like when I'm making a conch salad or any type of ceviche, I like to chop my vegetables really super small and fine. That just kind of helps everything blend together a little bit better. Let's get to it. veggies, all those ingredients into one bowl here. Super fine, it looks gorgeous, and it smells even better. So once you have everything chopped into a bowl, add white wine vinegar, which I have a little bit right here. Pre, that's not enough. <laughs> okay. I don't really know how much, I think it just kind of depends on how much you want, really, or how much you like white wine vinegar. Also, the recipe calls for some ponzu sauce in this veggie vegetable mixture here, but I don't have any ponzu sauce, so I'm not worried about it, honestly, because this pokey sauce is that good. I feel like I don't really need too much other flavors, but if you want to go ahead and add the ponzu sauce, go right ahead. It sounds really good, too. Stir the vegetables. Let me get a fork this white wine vinegar and with oh, oh my gosh that's so beautiful look at all the colors oh my god it smells so good too you know what honestly i think i might add some more cilantro oh, so good. oh my gosh it's beautiful i'm just gonna throw this in the fridge and let it sit let it marinate until i get my fish done and then also the recipe called for a white pepper don't have one of those either. You could probably even add like jalapeno peppers or even scallions, green onions. I think that would be so delicious in this recipe too. So now we're doing fish. Check out this huge chunk of fish, you guys. <laughs> so since I didn't get to weigh my, my tuna for you, I'm gonna weigh this chunk of meat right here. Get out my, 
my handy dandy kitchen scale. One pound, 15.7 ounces. Wow, okay. So, I don't know if I'm gonna use this whole chunk of meat right now, I'm kind of curious. I did rinse it off with water, fresh water, fresh clean water. Wow, it looks gorgeous in the camera. I'm gonna clean up a little bit, see how much I got left. It's really a beautiful chunk of meat though. Maybe I'll just start with half of it for now. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys, my mouth is like drooling right now. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm in love. I would eat it, but we gotta use it for the recipe. So you wanna cut your fish into cubes. I really think it depends on what you like. You know, if you don't like cubes, fine. You know what I've heard like about pasta? People say that pasta tastes different in different shapes. And I don't know, I kind of agree. Like sometimes, you know, I just want pasta shells, not spaghetti, you know? I am scared of worms. We did have a lot of worms in one of the big wahoo we caught recently. The nice like 50, 60 pound wahoo had a bunch of worms in it. And it was really disappointing because wahoo is my favorite raw fish to eat. I'll eat that raw all day. But with those worms in it, I was just kind of like, mm. It's just not very appetizing. And if you can see, you can't see. On my cutting board right now, I've got uh, a bunch of like leftover cilantro bits and I'm totally cool with it. I'm totally okay with it. Oh, this is so freaking gorgeous. Ugh. Let me get some close up shots for you of this beautiful tuna meat and how well it cuts. It's like, it's like butter and it's just, mm. And that's how it tastes when you put it in your mouth too. It like melts in your mouth. It's so good. Watch this. quick you can see on the meat here there are some little white tendons in there and like little you know like little bloodline pieces I don't know if you can see those little little just like blood and veins or whatever personally I don't mind all that like I don't know if it's called sinew sinew sin, sinew or whatever these little white stringy strands I don't honestly don't mind those um, but some people might not be too into it. I'd like to say that I do think it is important to have a very sharp knife. I actually worked in a sushi restaurant for about seven years. I really got to get to know a lot of uh, stuff about sushi and like raw fish and stuff. I do know that the uh, sushi chefs would have the sharpest knives you've ever seen in your life. Look at that like beautiful clean cut chunk right there. Sorry, I'm being such a nerd right now. And you can use any uh, raw fish of your choice. I think I've heard Spanish mackerel is really good raw. I don't think I've ever personally tried it. Rainbow runner is supposed to be really good raw. Hogfish is actually really good raw. Percobia is good raw. White marlin is good raw. So um, whatever you want. Wow, look at this. Woo! This is heavy. So um, we got a lime. We've got our sriracha sauce. And then we've got our pokey sauce, the main attraction. The thing about the lime, roll it, get it rolling. It gets the juices going, it makes it a lot easier to squeeze. You gotta have lime. It, uh, it not only is for the flavor, but it also helps to cook the meat, actually. The acids in the citrus um, are so strong, they cook the raw fish. Oh, this is looking so good. Once you have your lime juice squirted all in your raw fish and you add a few squirts of sriracha, again, however you like it, sriracha is a spicy sauce. I personally don't mind a little bit of a little spice, a little flavor, but not too much. And then the pokey sauce. Depends on how much fish you have, again. Don't need too much, it's a very good flavorful sauce. You're gonna have everything in the bowl. I really might add an avocado. Cause I love avocado and I think it would be really good in this recipe. I can already see the lime. The lime is already cooking the, the fish. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Hey, okay, looks like I stirred everything. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, guys, it is so good, I'm gonna cry. What? I can't believe I never 
done this before. Wow, thank you to Pot for giving me this recipe. I'm gonna be making this all the time. Wow, that's amazing. Mm. Mm. Holy poop. <laughs> oh, the, the lime with the pokey sauce. Oh my gosh, so okay. What I wanted to mention is I do have a ton of veggies chopped up here. When you're done with the fish, done with the vegetables, add vegetables to the fish. So I'm gonna gradually add vegetables to the fish and just kind of judge how much, okay. I'm gonna stop right there. And then let me adjust y'all so you can see here. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there, like that. Let's blend this all. I wish I had some either like tortilla chips or um, some lettuce to make lettuce wraps. Check that out. Oh my God, it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, you can look at me now. Back to me, back to me, hello. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about that. And you're done, I'm done. It's, del oh, I didn't even try it with the vegetables yet. I'm freaking out. Cheers. Wow. Oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That is so fresh. Hold on, let me, let me make it pretty for you guys and make it nice and pretty before I just eat it all right out of the bowl right here. Hold on. Let me try this right now with some avocado. Definitely recommend adding avocado for sure. This is delicious. I'm gonna finish this up right now. I really hope you guys get to try this recipe. I just really enjoyed making it. I'm so glad I made it. I'm gonna be making this from now on with any raw fish I can get my hands on, to be honest. Again, check out that two pots pokey sauce if you really wanna make this Mm, like amazing. That's it. Leave any comments below. Leave it a like if you like this video. Definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video.